I've been sent a Roblox scam that is completely different from what I've looked at before because it takes advantage of three loopholes in both Roblox and Microsoft to hack your Roblox account, and I'm going to explain how it all works. Now, if you're on Roblox every waking hour of your life, you probably received a DM from a random person saying, did you know DailyRewards.io can win you cool items and even premium every day? Now, despite popular belief, I am actually a six-year-old, and I believe everything I read on the internet. So I went to DailyRewards.io and the website was down. The funny part about this website is the fact that it's not down, it actually got held by the domain registrar, which basically means nerdy translation. Hostinger was like, you're running a scam on this website, we're taking the website back. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have. You don't have to worry about being scammed on Roblox anymore, is what I would say until literally a couple days later, a viewer sent me this DM here saying, did you know dailyrewards.ru can win you cool items and even premium every day? I'm six years old and I want free Roblox stuff. I'm going to daily dailyrewards.ru. I might be flagged as Mickey Mouse or something and Disney's gonna delete me. But when I go to dailyrewards.ru, it takes me to Microsoft Edging, where I can get Roblox Daily Rewards, which is a browser extension that has three out of five stars, 22 reviews, 2,000 plus users. Now, how does it work? Well, this extension will give you the ability to claim daily rewards every day on Roblox. And to claim your daily reward, simply click on the blue gift box button and note that you can only open a daily reward on Roblox every 24 hours. Yes, that's what daily means, but thank you for telling me. Now if I click on see more, and the whole reason why I'm even talking about the description, is that it says by adding this extension it will automatically send a message to every Roblox conversation you have with a referral to the extension. This is a common courtesy we ask of you in exchange for the usage of our extension seeing as it helps us promote it to a larger audience. If I was actually six years old, I would believe this. And it turns out, the Microsoft employee that reviewed this whole entire browser extension might also have been six years old, so Microsoft with child labor or something because they believe that this was completely fine and approved the extension. And speaking of which, the first question I had when I looked at this is why is it on the Microsoft Store? I mean, most people have Google Chrome. And the reason why is actually part of two of the three loopholes, which I'll explain later. Now, you know me, I'm a f***ing nerd. And I could just completely nerd out and go through the code of this browser extension and explain how it all works, which I will do. But ladies and gentlemen, I think Christmas came early because I have a new Roblox alt account that I used to play Dress to Impress because I was so good on my main account, I actually got banned because people thought I was cheating. I'm just that good at styling. Just kidding, my mom picks my clothes for me. So anyways, I'm just gonna see how this extension works by using it myself on Microsoft Edging. We have the browser extension. I'm going to add it to my browser, add extension. Nothing could ever go wrong. But if I go back to Roblox and I refresh the page, finally, free Roblox item. And when I click on the gift, it tells me that I need to wait a minute. While I'm waiting for a minute, I might as well go to my Roblox homepage and, uh, you know, share the strategies of killing it and dress to impress. And when I click on chat with no text to speech, uh, nothing happens. You can hear, you can hear my mouse. I'm pressing it very quickly. Nothing is happening. This is a really obvious clue on what's going on here. But anyways, if I click on the gift, I should, oh, 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 oh opening up an egg, underage gambling on Roblox. I've won the Dominus Vert. Vert is green in French. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, I won a Dominus. What is that? I don't play Roblox. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's a Roblox item that I think is quite rare. And I won it completely for free. And, and when I click on anything, nothing happens. So I guess I have to click on the X. But I should probably go to my inventory and figure out where it is. Uh... How do I do this? I'm a boomer. And ladies and gentlemen, as a surprise to absolutely no one, if I look in my inventory, I, I, I do not have the green Dominus. I got tricked. Now, the funny thing about this browser extension, it's it's basically a gift that keeps on giving, pun intended, I guess. But if you're a six-year-old, you probably wouldn't realize that this was a scam, and you'd probably click on the gif again because little brain goes for dopamine, and you'll notice that you need to wait 23 hours and 58 minutes to try again because it's daily rewards. So most six-year-olds are going to leave this browser or extension on their computer and just completely forget about it, which is the goal of the scam. But for me, as a functioning adult with a frontal lobe, I'm thinking, how did I get scammed? There's nothing telling me that I've been scammed. Regardless, it seems like this is just a troll extension. This whole video was a waste of my time. Might as well wrap it up here and call it a night, remove the Chrome extension, and pretend this never happened, is what I would say. But when I refresh the page, you'll notice that my chat magically comes back. And that's because when I was actually testing this browser extension on September 2nd, so it, it doesn't 
doesn't work right now, which I'll explain why later. But when I use this browser extension on this alt account, when I was first testing this out, my account would randomly send the message message and absolutely nothing else happened with my Roblox account. So what's going on here? And yes, yes, of course, we're going to get to the part where I go super nerdy and explain what's going on by looking at the code of this browser extension. Now I'm going to copy the link to this browser extension and go to a website called Rob W U dot N L slash C R X viewer. And what this allows you to do is view the source code of a browser extension, whether it be Chrome, Firefox, edging add-ons, and this video spot. No, I'm kidding. So I'm going to paste in this browser extension and open it in the viewer. And we get to look at the code behind this browser extension. Now there's a whole bunch of things with like photos of rewards and the eggs and all that stuff, but we have two JavaScript files. We have a content.js and we have a background.js. And specifically looking at the content.js file, we have a lot of code to go through. The first half of the code is actually part of the whole entire scam. And then the rest of this code is talking about the gift reward. Now, if you actually go through this code and you read it, all it's doing is showing you an image saying, congratulations, you won this item and nothing else. It doesn't add the item to your Roblox account. It, it just shows you an image. So yeah, fundamentally speaking, if you are just watching this to see if this browser extension is real or not, no, the code behind it is completely fake. It does not give you free stuff. All right, bye-bye all the six-year-olds that were watching. Now I can start swearing more. So this G willy gosh darn dang it Chrome extension is a scam, but the way that it works is interesting. Now, the way that it works is that it sends a message to every single person in your Roblox conversations. It has a function of sending messages to conversation IDs, which it just scrapes all the IDs of the conversations you had. And what this code does is it sends a request to Roblox's API. It basically tells Roblox's servers, hey, I want to send a message. And the message that I want to send is in this conversation ID. And what I want to send is the content of this variable request underscore message. So whatever this request underscore message equals is what your account will send when you run this browser extension. The logical thing to do would be pressing control F and looking for a request message in the code. But since I have explained this code about 13 times already, and I keep messing it up and wanting to commit very heinous war crimes, instead I'm scrolling exactly where I need to go. You can see that there's the variable request message and it equals to the response of all this garbage. To explain what this is, we need to look at the surrounding code. So what this code does is it goes to a website games.roblox.com slash v1 slash games question mark universe IDs equals and then it adds on universe ID 2 which is a variable and it puts them together so you have a very long link but what is universe ID 2 well it's not much of a crazy question because if you just look up variable universe ID 2 equals this set of numbers here so if I copy this and put it no, I'm, I'm not calling this number no but if I put this number at the end of the URL games roblox.com equals all this crap I end up on this website here which is I'm gonna call it the black data page but it shows us a whole bunch of data and the thing I want to point out that's important is that there is root place ID, which is the set of numbers. And if I copy this number and I go to roblox.com slash games slash, and I paste in that number and I press enter, it takes me to Samantha Johnson place by Samantha Johnson node. And if we pay attention to Samantha Johnson node and we go back to the black data page, we can see that the creator of whatever this game is, is Samantha Johnson node. So this black data page matches exactly what's on this page here. It's just in a format that code can use. So for example, the description is blank. And if we go to the page, the description is blank. You know, so far, I'm doing a good job at explaining it. It's better than the other 16 attempts that I tried. If we go back to the code, it is going to go to this website and look in the data array and look for the description. And it's going to turn that description into the request underscore message variable, which in this case equals absolutely f***ing nothing. And since this is nothing, that is exactly why when I ran this Chrome extension, sorry, Microsoft edging extension, that's why nothing happened. Happened. That's why I didn't send a message because the message variable was blank. But but here's the, here's the thing. Remember how we're looking at universe ID two? There's a universe ID one, which is this number here. Later on in the code, there is a function called check description where it goes to the games.roblox.com page I talked about, but instead it goes to universe ID one, not number two, number one. So the code goes to this black data page, and if we copy this place ID and we go to the website, it leads to Blocks Finder API Updater by Blocks Finder Node, and we can see in the description. It says apis.roblox.com slash a whole bunch of crap that is not even important to anything. And this matches exactly what's inside of the black data page in the description. And if we go back to the code, it goes to that website and it gets whatever is inside of the description. Now I want to point out this web page is called page heartbeat v2. What does this do? It doesn't 
fucking matter. It's like hocus pocus magic. We don't need to worry about it. But what the code will do is it will get that random API hocus pocus thing that doesn't matter and it will put it inside of the Roblox web page. Right now, this browser extension, as it is when I'm looking through it, is completely worthless. It does nothing. It doesn't even scam you. But how are they going to turn this browser extension into a scam? Well, you might be thinking that they might just update the browser extension to a new version, which would then scam you and take all of your Robux. But that's not actually what would happen. Because if you update an existing extension on the Microsoft Edging website, after you update your extension, what will happen is when you click on publish, you're going to go through the certification process by Microsoft, where they're going to go through the code of your extension and see if it's malware. Usually. Again, we'll talk about Microsoft a little bit later. But on the Chrome Web Store, they do the exact same thing. If you have a new developer or a new extension, or you have dangerous permission requests, or you do significant code changes, Chrome will go through and review your extension. So what this means is that if the scammer behind this browser extension makes an update that now steals all your Robux or steals your Roblox account, then Microsoft Edging will catch that and take the extension off their website. Mission failed. But what if there was a way to change how the code works without changing the browser extension code itself? It sounds really impossible, but that is the ace up this code sleeve. It is the first loophole that it's exploiting. Because remember how I talked about the code on how it looks for a message inside of a Roblox description? Well, if Samantha Johnson node changes the description to say hello, then that means that this code, instead of it being completely useless and doing absolutely nothing, now when you run the extension, it will spam every single conversation with the word hello. So the browser extension now spams people, but the code itself never changed, which means there will never be a review process by Microsoft or Google. And remember the Blocks Finder API updater with this random link that genuinely does remotely nothing? The reason why it's in the code is so that when the scammer wants to turn this browser extension into something that steals everything you have, all he has to do is just change the description of this Roblox game. And it usually goes to a website that has like a TXT file, so if you go to it, it'll show you the code directly, but this code will be malicious. And now whatever website you put in the description is now going to turn into HTML on the Roblox page, which will then probably turn it into a scam that I covered before, where it's like a bookmark that infects Roblox and shows you fake pop-ups to remove security features on your account, and it eventually steals your Roblox account. It'll follow in those same footsteps. But remember, they turned this browser extension into something evil without updating the extension. All they did was just change the description in a Roblox game. This only works if Roblox doesn't doesn't get a big heads up early about this page existing. And I'm pretty sure nothing has happened because Roblox is well aware, but I've given them another heads up if they needed it. So that was the first loophole that this scam abuses. But the second one, which I think is probably the first question you had is why are they doing this in the Microsoft store? And well, the second loophole, this one is not much of a loophole. It's just taking advantage on how incompetent Microsoft is. And I don't know how it's not obvious to Microsoft that this is a scam, because if you scroll down, we have reviews by Luke and Jaden. And if we look for more add-ons from Blocks devs, my good golly, we got a ton of browser extensions. We have a browser extension to hide the chat, which seems pointless. Wow, this is so good by Luke. Jaden, best Roblox extension ever. We have Roblox Followbot, which fundamentally, this is an impossible thing to do. You can tell there are some people that have downloaded it and gave it three stars. But Luke and Jaden, baby, best Roblox extension ever. And I saved the best for last. Get a Dominus on Roblox, completely for free, clickbait YouTube title. Yeah, you would not believe who reviewed this bad boy. Jaden and wait, Lucent? Luke? Lucent? Here's the thing, this Lucent character is actually someone that I, I've heard of before. In fact, in almost every single Roblox scam video I have made, I've talked about someone named Lucent Waves, who's also known as Blocks Devs, which is uh, the people who are making these browser extensions. Vic Games, Motive Creations. It turns out this person is a very well-known scammer, and nothing is being done about this. I'm going to have this linked in the description, but the lore on this dude is extensive. There are plenty of times this one single dude has scammed. They even got the Microsoft Edge extensions here. But yes, this dude is a chronic scammer. This is 100% going to turn into a scam. Yeah, don't worry, boys. It still exists on the Microsoft store. Microsoft's a f***ing joke, I tell you. And let's get to the final loophole, because here's the thing. When I was reading through the Lucent Waves lore, which I already know way too much about, I also know the dude's wanted by the Canadian police, which is hilarious. But in the article, there is a reference to an archive.is page, which actually leads to the, yes, I'm not a robot. It leads you to the Microsoft Edge page. Now, loophole number three, baby. This one's my favorite. If we scroll down to the reviews, we have Cyber saying this is just a virus that sends a message to like 40 people in your friends list. Don't get it. One star. A 
very helpful review that tells you exactly what is going on. And let's just copy this page that it's going to, so you know for a fact that I'm going to the exact same page. Roblox Daily Rewards. We scroll down to the reviews, and it is gone. The third loophole is that there is something seriously wrong with Microsoft's reviews on their extensions because they can just magically get removed. Either this Lucent Waves blocks devs guy is deleting the reviews or they're abusing something to mass report a negative review to get it taken off their scam extension. There is a serious issue with Microsoft when valid reviews that are 100% true get taken off the scam extension that they still have on their website. This makes no sense to me. If there's a, a browser extension that you can only use on Microsoft and not on Google Chrome, I would stay away from it just by sheer premise on how they can't moderate the most basic sh on the planet. Anyways, like I said, the dude behind this is wanted in Canada, so I'm gonna put on my dog the bounty hunter cosplay and go outside for once. I'll see you in the battlefield, gamers. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.